Time to welcome a guest. Who is it, Dad? Lomas Brown. Lomas Brown. 18 years he played offensive tackle for Barry Sanders, much of it. Seven Pro Bowls. That's not why I want to talk to him. Lomas Brown tells good stories. He's interesting. He's colorful. Let's learn some more about Lomas. Lomas, how and why did you become an offensive lineman? Nobody wants to become an offensive <laughs> lineman. Hey, you know what, Dan? I was kind of forced to be an offensive lineman. You know, every time they see a big kid, they just want to throw him on the offensive line. So that kind of happened to me. I was a big kid. They seen me, and they just threw me out there on the offensive line. That's how it started. Tell me about the very first day. The very first day. They throw you out there, and you what? Oh, it was ugly. I didn't know how to get in the stance. I was getting beat all day long. Of course, the coaches were yelling some choice words that I can't repeat on TV. So it was an ugly day. That first day was a very ugly day. How big were you? I was about 6'3", about 240 some odd pounds in high school, my first years in high school. So I was a pretty big kid and I guess they seen that in me too. Did you like it initially, or that first day sounds miserable? Oh, it was, Dan. I didn't like it at all. I, I kind of fought it a little bit, but you just kind of grow to love it. You got to kind of grow to learn the position. And, and after a while, I started loving the position, and hey, the rest is history. What was the best part of the job for you? Oh, being an offensive lineman, you get to cut the defensive lineman at the knees. Are you kidding me? I used to love that. You, I used to love seeing the expressions on their face when I cut them at the kneecap and they're getting up off the ground. Priceless. That's not even allowed anymore. You know, <laughs> hey, now, Dan, you know you're talking to an older fella. I'm back in the day, so I got those pre-2000 rules. So it was a lot of things allowed back in the day. Did you line up ever against anybody that you were a little intimidated uh, by or a little afraid of? Yes, sir. The man name is Reggie White, the minister of defense. This dude here, and the scary part about him, Dan, is he would say a prayer over you before he destroyed you. So this guy would sit over you and he would say, John 315, whack! <laughs> you know, help you up off the ground. He'll come back with a number, another Bible verse. Whack! Help you up off the ground. It was unbelievable. He was the most polite, dominating guy I think I ever played against. What's the most you could see a teammate eating? What's the most you ever saw a teammate eat? You could eat, right? I could eat, but I'm going to tell you, instead of... I, I didn't see a big amount of guys eating, but I'm going to tell you the funniest thing to me, I played with Bubba Parrish. And I never seen a guy lay on his back, laying on the bed, flat on his back. He had a plate of food on his chest. He had a can of wine punch there. And he was literally, Dan, laying down, eating his food off his chest. I had never seen that before in my entire life. I'm not talking about the guy brought his head up to, to <laughs> drink or to eat. I'm talking about he laid flat on his back and he was eating and drinking like he was sitting up at a table unbelievable who's the craziest teammate you ever had oh Benny Blades I we were at uh, the ballet dance if you get my drift we were at one of those establishments <laughs> Benny didn't like the going ons inside the place so he had a few words with a couple of guys in the side the place told those guys to come outside where he proceeded to go to his trunk he didn't pull out a handgun or a machine gun. He pulled out a bazooka, Dan, a bazooka. I've never seen a bazooka in real life until I was standing next to Benny Blades and he pulled it out of his trunk. Unbelievable. <laughs> and that's how he wanted to end the fight? He that's how, <laughs> hey, Benny said he was going to take care of all this. He was going to end everything right there with that bazooka. <laughs> but what is that? Lomas, what is that? Hey, that's our homeboys, Dan. You know, from the from the U, <laughs> University of Miami, you know them guys got a little edge on themselves down there. And Benny and Brian Blades, those guys had a few edges on themselves. What's the most embarrassed you've ever been on a football field? Was it that very first day when you tried uh, to be an offensive lineman, or have you had another one since? Ah, uh, yeah, I think I've had uh, one since then. Let me see. I think probably when I had to go to the bathroom on myself, I think that was rather embarrassing, and you know, I had to do, you know, so uh -oh. I had to go to the bathroom. Now, uh -oh. believe me, it made my blocking assignments a lot better 
that day because no too many people didn't want to get around me. <laughs> but it was a little embarrassing going off and off the field. You know, you, you get my drift, Dan. It was a little embarrassing. <laughs> Did the guy across from you notice? Did he say anything? Oh, yeah. Believe me, if you got a smell coming off you like that, guys <laughs> will notice. Even guys in my huddle, they know this too. My father has a question for you, Lomas. Sure. <laughs> Tell me about the first time you fell in love. Oh, you know what? It was like my, my stomach was balled up in knots. I had my first kiss, and it was like, like fireworks were going off. I was like I was walking on cloud nine, my good man. I mean, great. it, it was one of the greatest feelings in the world. I, I have to admit to that. And she was a Miami girl, too. So that even made it a lot better, too. Name her. Call her out right oh, here. Dolores Brown. Hey, Dolores, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> she missed out. She missed out on the she offensive did. lineman who played for 18 years, made a lot of Pro Bowls, and went to the bathroom in his uniform pants. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's nothing better than the big fella, right? Like I say, man, it's more of us to love. It's more for people to love when you're a big fellow, Dan. Lomas, thank you for being on with us. That was highly enjoyable. Hey, hey, Dan, I got a quick question for your dad. Yes, sir. Is he still there? Now, I got this strange name, Lomas. Isn't that Spanish for something? In Lomas, Spanish for something? Yeah, Lomas in Spanish means mountains. It means mountain? Oh, That's what look at that. Is. It's perfect See? for you. Hey, hey, I'm loving your dad. That yeah. He is the man. I like that. It I does. like that. It's Spanish for mountain that goes to the bathroom in its pan. <laughs> That's what it's Spanish for. <laughs> Thank you, Lomas. Hey, Thank thanks you. for having me. All right, All right buddy. Thank you, though. Next on the Dan and Poppy show, do you question? It's not the name of the show, Poppy. No. Next on the Dan show, do you question? <laughs>